Hello, I'm just going to demonstrate the different ice spikes um, that we have. Um, there's three, three different types. Um, we've got the crown type of ice spike which fits onto the end of a crutch or a cane like this. There's a clamp um, that just clamps. There's two screws. Just take one of the screws out and it's quite easy to fit onto the bottom of your crutch and cane. Um, this one is called the crown. Um, it's just uh, got a crown shape on the bottom so that's why it's called the crown. And then this one's the, the other one spike type one um, which is probably for deeper snow or ice to get a better grip. So how these ones work is um, you squeeze the two pieces together and then this just flips out of the way um, so you can go if you're not on snow and ice again then you can just um, then just flip it out of the way and then you can just use the normal crutch stop and when you want to use it again then you just squeeze the two pieces together and it clicks into place um, so it's locked locked onto the bottom of the crutch or cane um, the other and it's the same mechanism with uh, this ice bike. Um, so you can see how I've loosened the nut and another, another screw screw goes in um, to fix that in place uh, on the crutch or cane. Um, so it can fit a reasonably. It's got quite a lot of um, adjustment there, so it can fit sort of reasonably larger type of. Uh, the pretty standard cane holders, canes and crutches, the, the diameter of the tubing, it should fit. Um, the other type, which uh, you can see here, is um, a rubber mechanism which fits onto the bottom of your crutch or cane. It fits various different diameters. All you do is uh, take out um, the, diff the different number of um, plastic inserts depending on the diameter of the, or the cane or crutch and you can see that's the widest diameter how this one works um, so you just put that back in oops sorry that was a screw that's fallen out um, it comes from here. Um, you need to. It comes in the uh, screws. Come in the bag. So you need to put the nut on the end. Once the uh, crutch or cane is on on the uh, walking stick or crutch, then you just tighten this up to make sure that clamps around the uh, crutch or cane. There's also a couple of little screws which you need to screw in. They go on each side of here. They just hold the little ferrules, these plastic inserts in place um, so it doesn't slide off on your crutch or cane once you've tightened this up. So how this works is this is a little lever here. Um, you can either have, this is the option for going on just normal concrete, it's just like a normal um, crutch or cane stop and so when you want, when you're going over ice or snow then what you do is just flick the uh, lever down so that the spikes, as you can see the little spikes that come out underneath um, to give you extra grip on snow and ice. Um, so they're very easy to use. Um, you can either use it with your foot, just put your foot down onto the onto this because it's, stick, it's sticking out. Like obviously, when when the crutch and cane's in there, then you just flip the lever down with, with either your hand or your foot, and the spikes will come out. And then when you don't want the spikes in, then you just flip the lever back up, and then that will remove the spikes. Um, if you're finding that this is getting a bit worn out, this 
the rubber piece at the bottom you can remove it and there's a, a spare a tip it's called the tip for the um, for this particular ice bike and it's just a replacement so that if it wears out then you can just buy this instead of buying the whole ice bike mechanism and you just glue it back back on with some strong glue um, to put that back on. Thank you.